In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration, dear brothers and sisters. And now we stand with Robert and Mary Ann on the day they intend to form a home of their own. So let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, and with our prayer as their brothers and sisters. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and tested him, saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause whatever? He said in reply, Have you not read that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh? So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, man must not separate. I've known Mary Ann for so many years, and we shared a lot of good memories together. We laughed together, cried together, supported each other through life's ups and downs. And now, as I watch her embark on this new chapter of her life with Rob, my heart overflows with joy. I wish you both a life full of love, joy, and so many blessings. Matthew 19, 6. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Um, I love you guys, and congratulations and best wishes. Mary, when you walked in my dad's life, I felt like it was stagnant before that. He really didn't know his next chapter in life, and he was always looking for it. When, he, when you walked in, he smiled more, he laughed harder, and he overall looked happier. And as a child to a parent, that's all you can ever ask for. Last thing I'll say to both of you, one to Mary Ann, some piece of advice. Us Sullivan men are notoriously stubborn, and we never get the first things right. Well, it always takes a couple times to get it right, but I promise you, we'll never keep trying. So just hang in there. To my dad, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for finding your next life, your next chapter in your life. I couldn't be prouder and happier for you. Hi, Robert. Thank you, Mary Ann, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and bad, in sickness and health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I'm Mary Ann, take you, Robert, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, and in sickness and in health, to love you, to honor you all the days of my life. This may not be a speech, but a poem to keep. I've made this by heart, so please hear as I speak. In this tape tree of life, a tale unfolds of love and care as the story's told. It, it's a tale of you, my mommy so kind, whose love and grace in my heart I find. From my days of youth, so tender and small, you answered my needs, you heard my call. In your warm embrace, I found my shelter. Congratulations on your special day. 
May your marriage be filled with love, laughter, and cheers to the lifetime love and happiness. Today you start a new chapter in your life. May it be long, healthy, and prosperous. Here's to you. Salud! Cheers! Cheers! Cheers, Sammy. Ah. <laughs> 